Now this is our uh, uh, beef goulash. This is a Croatian uh, a version of beef goulash, and they call it uh, noki. Okay, and uh, Croatian term. Okay, so I garnish uh, grana padano cheese and uh, coriander on the top. Okay. Uh, good day guys, so today we will make uh, uh, gnocchi. This is uh, other version of beef goulash that is uh, uh, Caucasian uh, cuisine. Okay, so our ingredients, we need uh, the beef. It's uh, one kilo of beef and one kilo as well of uh, uh, onion. And we need also the uh, uh, grated carrots, around uh, 400 grams of grated carrots. And uh, I have here uh, flour, one kilo of flour, okay? And also I have here one kilo of uh, potato. And I have here salt and pepper, billet, okay? And also, we need uh, 300 grams of red wine. Now, I put olive oil on, on our pot, okay? So, this oil is around 300 grams of olive oil, okay? So, we need to uh, uh, fry this one. The beef, beef, the beef, 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 Now, just to see a little bit of this one, because this one they will produce uh, water. So we need to turn it around uh, half an hour, then we will remove and we will uh, uh, saute the onion with this oil in the pot of this uh, uh, beef liver, okay? Now, this is our uh, beef. This kit, we will remove this one. Okay. So this one is still hard. We will uh, we will uh, boil it again to become soft. So just to uh, take our uh, uh, essence of uh, beef. This is the Croatian way of cooking. Then. Then after this, we remove this one. We will saute the onion of this uh, essence of uh, uh, what we call this one, the, the brisket dip. Okay. So okay, we already remove. And this one, uh, just to sit aside. Uh, later we will add this one after we saute the the onion. Okay. Now we will put the uh, one kilo of onion, okay, and uh, just to uh, simmer a little bit of this one, and afterwards we will add afterwards. Now we will add the grated carrots, okay. So we need to mix this one. Then, then after we will we will add now again our uh, beef brisket. We need we need to uh, put it back to here, okay? And we will add the the salt and pepper together with the beef, okay? Now. 
you need to simmer a little bit okay now this looks like of our uh, uh, Croatian uh, uh, beef goulash they call it gnocchi and uh, Croatian okay so now we will add the uh, we need to back again the the pit okay so we need to simmer this one until it becomes soft it's around two hours to become soft of this one okay if the water is not enough you need to add a little bit of water then again and again until become soft okay so now I will put now the hot water okay oh I cannot carry it because it's too hot yeah wow where's my uh Wait for a minute. Now we will add the hot water. So we need to wait this one until soft. Okay. So we will mix this one. And uh, we need to simmer this one around 2 hours to become soft of uh, brisket. Okay, and we will add the uh, uh, salt and pepper together with the billet. Okay, so mix, mix evenly. Now it's time to simmer this one. Okay. Now while waiting this one to become soft we need to put uh, hot water we need this one later or we will uh, we will uh, what we call this one we need to to put this one the the flour and uh, uh, potato okay so just to uh, wait this one boil and later we will while we are waiting this one to become boiling we need to prepare the potato and the flour okay now we will we will start to prepare this one okay uh, the uh, potato and the the flour we will combine it together okay now we need to mash the potato okay together with the flour okay Be sure your uh, your hand is clean when you're doing this one. Okay, you need to, to sanitize first your hand before doing like this, so that uh, there's no bacteria on your food. Okay, so we need to put the uh, flour. Mm. 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 Mm.
Yun! Pag sinusurating na talaga yun. By this time, we need to uh, add a pinch of salt. Okay, just a pinch of salt and mix. make it like this until the dough becomes soft or smooth it looks like when you when uh, doughing like a uh, uh, bread just okay. a little bit of flour Looks like wow. Well, uh, goulash, big goulash. Okay. The first box. The same way. Okay. Uh, this 
this looks like. This is our uh, Croatian deep goulash. Okay, this is looks like. Okay, so we will uh, boil it in the boiling water. Okay. Now we will put this one on the boiling water. When this uh, coming up, it means it's already cooked. Okay, so uh, we need to wait this one coming up and it's mean that it's already done. Okay, so we need to put this one one by one. Okay. Now, after uh, two hours when we boiling this one now this is looks like now we will add now the the 300 grams of uh, red wine okay now we will simmer this one until uh, uh, a little bit uh, this the sauce is make it uh, sticky okay so we need to simmer this one again around uh, half an hour to simmer this one again so uh, later I will show you uh, how to make this one okay now it's already coming up it means uh, it's already done so we need to remove this one okay so we will serve it later and our sauce is uh, already done all as well okay so okay we need to remove this one as well Uh, good morning. This is uh, Edwin TD Kitchen. Okay. Uh, if you like to 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 learn a lot in food preparation, food handling, storing, proper storing of food, and uh, study the cross contaminations of food preparations and the proper handling of uh, color coding of chopping board together with the knife you can open my my uh, channel in YouTube uh, that is a with TK you can search in the YouTube so you will learn a lot if you if you like a uh, dreaming to put up a, a restaurant you need to uh, uh, study my YouTube channel and that's it you will you will learn a lot uh, or you are dreaming like me as as a parent this is uh, this is for you guys uh, you will learn step by step of preparation just follow my youtube channel and like my youtube channel 
and share my videos so you will learn a lot of my uh, food preparations. Okay? Thank you and subscribe my channel.